Hey guys, this is Hammer Bro Mike, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD, where today we are back in the Twilight Realm of things, and ooh, once again we have a new scent to scent. I don't know. Uh, let's go check it out. Let's sniff. Let's sniff it out. Let's sniff it. Oh! <gasps> Is that... It's Ilya! 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 Something or other. Her name is something or other. Something or other. Why are you telling me to forget the youth scent when I should just... What, like... I don't know why that's... I don't know why they didn't bother changing that in this game, because honestly... Um, you should just learn the new scent anyway, so I don't see why you have to, I'm going the wrong, oh wait, no, I'm going the right way. I remember on my personal playthrough, I actually went the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, this is the time where, you know, trying to figure out where the scent leads, but honestly, I already know where it leads. And welcome to... It's Hyrule Castle from this point of view. Hey, haven't we seen this castle before? <laughs> so we finally made it back here. Well, only a little farther. So hang in there. Or so I'd like to say. But the going's a lot harder from here on out. Um, thank you, Minna, for informing me about how tough the rest of this excursion through the Twilight Realm is going to be a pain in the butt. And let me tell you, it's this is definitely going to be a pain in the butt. It's not going to be fun, because, may, well, I mean, I enjoy the Twilight Realm, but, my goodness, doing it, doing this, doing the Lanayru Twilight Realm run is, it's a bit of a long one. Well, I mean, now that there's four less tiers of light to collect, it's a little faster. I can confirm that, since I have, well, done this before. But it's sti it still feels a bit strenuous to me. It's still a lot to handle, slash take in, slash something or other, slash... I don't even know why I keep saying slash. But... We are now in... We are now outside Castletown, which is good, because Castletown is fun. Just, but can't I trigger the, oh, I guess I can't yet. I thought I could get the warp portal for this part of the game world, because that is a thing we can do. I thought I would just, I thought I would just show the scent trail once again. Welcome to Hyrule Castle Town. And I must say, this Castle Town is m a lot more lively than the Market Castle Town. The Castle Town Market in Ocarina of Time. Just gonna throw that out there. Even though, like, a lot of the characters you can't even talk to. Oh, I have to go this way. So let's go this way. Because it is leading us to... Elia! Elia! We are going to find you! Even though I know exactly where you are! I know exactly where she is! Oh, Elia! I heard a boy passed out. Well, nobody asked you. Um, okay, so... The scent trail is leading down here. Where conveniently the door is left open, but let's open it all the way. Because why not? So we walk into this room and you know, there's just, there's some guards over here. We've had a ton of complaints from citizens who can't send prayers to the sp the spring 
spirit of Lake Hylia. Go there. The location is the one on the map I showed earlier. Got it? No, I don't want to go. What? Study it and know it well. Okay. So what are we looking at here? I've received orders from above to investigate why we can't go to Lake Hylia's... To the Spirit Spring at Lake Hylia, I got that? So we have to get here. And we are here. So we would have to go back out. And then go this way, down this path, all the way around here. And then to the bridge. Or something. <laughs> but before we do that, this is a thing that we have to watch... It's Ilya! And a woman with large chest. And a... A boy. A boy. A Zora boy. If you didn't guess already, this is what the Zora... Well, this is what a Zora child looks like. But this is a Zora, which is a fish person. Which in this timeline, they have not evolved into bird people like in the Wind Waker. Yeah, I know. It It really bums me out that I can't do anything to, to talk to her. Whoops. This boy's so young, innocent. To see him suffering like this. He'll be alright, little lady. Someone's already gone for the doctor. I'll tell you, though, from what from what those soldiers back in, in the back were talking about to everyone else trouble yeah lots going on here in post-apocalyptia these days here's some of the latest news i just quoted three dog from fallout 3 <laughs> and it's not he's not even relevant and i just quoted him i don't know why i did but i quoted three dog <laughs> maybe it's because i love fallout 3 so much Question of the day, or question of the week, or just a question. Out of the more modern Fallout games, aka Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, and Fallout 4, which, which game do you like the most? And if so, um... I want to know a reason as to why you like those game, one of those games the best. If you like them all equally, I would also like to know because knowing is half the battle, so they say. So we can't go this way because rocks. Okay, I was just, I was in front of that, that... Shadow, Twilight, Boko, Bl I mean Bulblin. And for whatever reason, I just don't take any damage after he shoots his arrow, which clearly hit me. That is weird. It is so weird. And welcome to the Great Bridge of Hylia. Do 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 do. Wow, that lake is, um. That lake's a little empty, if I do say so myself. Hey, this bridge, it's all wet, right? Hey, do you smell anything funny? Oh, I guess it's not water. <laughs> I love how he just, j just like, does a huge side jump. Whoa. That arrow is, um... Whoa. Um, whoa. Okay, so this is oil or gasoline. This is, um... Oh no, we are trapped. Get out of here. I'll just push this over here. I remember I had no idea what to do here. Like, when I first played. Like, I was... Like, I actually died... It was pretty bad, but I did not think the very first time to push the boxes. 
That's how dimwitted I am. Wim did it. I I don't know. I just don't know. So welcome to Lake Hylia, which is currently just a puddle in the water. And good thing we landed in the water. Phew, that was a close one. We're lucky there was a puddle down below. So this is Lake Hylia, but there's so little water. It sounds like the Spirit Spring should be somewhere around here as well. Anyway, let's take a look around. So there's not a whole lot here. This is Lake Hylia. This is Azora wearing a helmet. Battle armor, if you will. They're like the Royal Zora Guards or something, I don't know. I really like the design of the Zoras in this game. I felt like... In some ways I feel like they looked a little too bland in the N64 games. But I like how... I like how compared to the Gorons, like, they just, they look really good to me. I don't know. They just look really nice in this game. And in HD, they look even better. Hmm, I'm, I'm too old for this. I'm a clown. Fire and Falby's water top land of fantastication. It's our grand reopening at our new lake bottom location. We Um Yeah, nice lake. Don't lakes have more I don't know water <laughs> That was funny. That was actually I just checked I checked the audio and I, I peaked the microphone so bad. Did the Zoras who live up river do something? Or is it a curse from that spirit that floats above there? Whatever. It's not like I can go up and complain. That's way too high. Well, I, I just noticed, like, his dirt stash. He's got a freaking dirt stash. I did not notice that before. So there's some stuff to dig here. But I'm not going to spend too much time doing that. So we have to get over here. Hey, bro. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Bad guys can use that? I thought only I could use that. What a bum. He's using something that, I don't know, I was going to be like, he's breaking the fourth wall, but that's not breaking the fourth wall. He's breaking the fabric of the game's existence. Only I should be able to use that. I don't know. So I am, so I'm battling this giant shadow cargo rock. Yeah, let's do some, let's do some hops, some mad hop action. Okay, I, um, whoa, that did a lot of damage. That is not good. I can actually warp, that's funny. Uh-oh. Give me a chance to dig some hearts. This can't be where I get my first death. Oh, crap. Ah, right. I should have been paying attention. Yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna be careful from now on. Hey, I got... <laughs> I, I didn't think you could actually get arrows in the twilight. That's funny. Alright. We're gonna do this right. No, 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 no. I shouldn't have done this... Oh, oh, it does two hearts. Okay. Come on, come on. No! Oh, no. I'm an idiot. Alright. Do I get... Do I has chance? 
Okay, no. I'm not doing that. There we go. There we go. Come on. I can't die here. And I can't I don't I believe I can't use my fairy. So All right, that's good. We are good. Well, I mean, we still have to defeat this bozo. There we go. Yeah, that's what you get for making me look like I'm really bad at this game. Which honestly, I'm not I'm not that I'm not that bad at this game, you know. Well, Midna just tamed that thing like it was nobody's business. I'm your new master now. Settle down. Hey, why don't we use this guy to get all the way up to the play of the water source? Well, you're not going to let me heal first? Thanks, Midna. And now I'm trapped in reaching the top again mode. Thank you. Oh, so much, Midna. Just thank you very much. I actually like these segments where, like, you fly around. I don't know, I think they're fun. Just not when you possibly get shot. Or do what I just did. Yes, let's try again. Yeah, so you gotta be careful. And luckily we, luckily we don't take damage from doing that. Which is good, because I, I would be upset if I lost a heart from that. Well, I mean, I can still lose a heart from, you know, these guys firing arrows and stuff like that. So this is Zor Upper... Wait, no. I don't know. It's... I forget what it said, but... Oh, okay. So, yeah. Apparently, these guys have bomb arrows, too. So they can shoot down these rock pillars no and sometimes you can bump against stuff but like if it's like a hard bump against something then you're doomed like look at this like how are the how are these rock pillars just staying up like that I just I never understood they got bomb arrows like this is like the this is the only time in the game where you see bulblins or any form of bulblins use bomb arrows that is nuts to me and the reason why I keep dashing is because it obviously it makes things go a little faster Jeez. and we've just about made it we just gotta make it through here and then we're good kinda looks like a weird weirdly shaped keyhole that light at least to me, anyway. <laughs> and we have made it to Upper Zora's River. Where we can do things and more things and even more things. There's a person right there. We're already here. That bird turned out to be more useful than I expected. Well then, there's the village of the Zoras. Let's just look for it. It's getting cold. Yeah, it, it is pretty chilly. I'm actually a little chilly in my in my basement right now. I mean, what are those Zoras up to anyway? The rivers totally run dry, right? I can't work like this. Uh, cold. Uh, I miss my fur coat. You have a fur coat? You, you heard an innocent an aminal? Weird. Just give me, give me the hearts. Give me all the hearts. You'd think she would notice me breaking this stuff here. Oh well. Alright. I don't know why I was sensing. To be honest, I don't know why I was sent him. I don't need rupees. I, I just, I don't. I don't need them. And I can't get to the other side. No, I can't get over there. So, 
Uh, well, I mean, I can later, but not right now. Wait, maybe I can get something here. Yep, there we go. Maybe I can get... Just a rupee so I can make it a solid, odd number. Yo, that's that's gonna be 425. 425. I don't even know why I am talking right now. You know what, maybe I should just not talk and just let the game footage play. Man, look at that waterfall. It is just frozen. Oh, hey, what's going on here? I thought it was get. I thought it was getting colder, but who would have thought that it would be all frozen? Man, it's like... It's like the... Like... The Ocarina of Time all over again, where, like... Zora's domain is frozen, and you have to beat the water temple in order to unfreeze it. Well, except for the water. Or, wait, no, does it? I don't remember. I just, I'm out of it right now. I love the fact that we're, we're that we're climbing a waterfall. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Okay. That happened. Sometimes I would just continue jumping like that and not even think that, oh, I'm about to get hit. And it would fall right down to the bottom. And we made it to the top. We have made it to the top, yeah. And my nose is itchy. It's probably this crazy weather. This crazy weather. <sighs> I'm tired. I haven't really been getting a good sleep lately. Which sucks, but... It is what it is. There we go. And now we can warp here. And warping here is half the battle, maybe? I don't know. A portal has opened here, too. We can finally warp. Whoa. So, all of the Zora people are f frozen. Those, those are the Zoras. Wow, this is really strange. What in the world happened? Hey, what do you want to do? We can't just leave them like this. We gotta thaw them out. Hmm. What can we use to thaw out the Zoras? Maybe that giant thing that came out of Death Mountain that I said is important for some reason? Yeah, so, we are back in the Elden province, and people like to inter interrupt me. Like, they like to Snapchat me while I'm recording the game. So we gotta warp this thing to Zora's Domain, and it's still, it's still warm, it's still hot. Friend of mine likes to Snapchat me. Probably checking up on me because she's really nice. Yay, now we're going... B it's funny how we just come back, get like a taste of being in the normal world once again, and then we have to go back to the twilight. Poor Link. Poor Link. Ooh. I hope we didn't kill any of the Zora. <laughs> Whoa. And then it just breaks apart. You'd think those you'd think they would fall down a little faster. <laughs> I don't know. And there we have melted and the water flow is back. Well, I mean, yeah. The water flow. The flow of water. Who knew that something so dangerous would come in handy? Alright, the Zoras are safe now. Let's So let's go. The ice melted and restored the... Yeah. 
Whoa. Huff. So yeah, now we get we get a better look at their faces. Man, like look at these. Look at these poor Zora people. So at, at some point, the postman will actually be behind the throne here, which is kind of funny. So now we can go this way. Wait! What do you mean, wait? Who do you think you are? Apparently a, a Zora spirit. Please, you must allow me to thank you for revitalizing both my people and this spring which is the water source for all the lands of Hyrule. In life, I was the elder of this Zora village and the queen of my people. I was called Rutella. I swear I thought Nutella while I just said that. <laughs> Not to be rude, but we didn't exactly do it for you guys. The Dark Ones, they raided this village and as a message to my people, executed me before them jeez like could you not use your magical zora power i mean you are a queen after all young man you you who take the form of a proud beast i have something to ask of you when the dark ones descended upon our village i sent my young one rawless to hyrule castle to inform the princess zelda of our the fate Ugh. But I fear danger followed him from this doomed place. I feel it. His present grows fainter to me over time. Okay. Yes, I'll save your... I'll save your son. Wait, do you just have like a thin layer of hair in, out front? That is weird. That is just weird. So yeah, we're Okay, next episode we are going to um well, I guess we'll follow this flow of water and see where it takes us. Okay, so next episode follow the flow of water and you know, do things and stuff and Okay, see you guys later. Bye.